what up what up everybody welcome back to the channel today we about to go over two important lockdown keys in ncaa football 25 to help you be able to guard trips and bunch type sets if you're new to the channel as always drop a thumbs up on the video hit that red subscribe button 30 likes will help me pump out another video for y'all let me know in the comment section what it is that y'all need help with and i got y'all let's get into the breakdown all right so the first thing you want to do whether you are running 425 nickel over nickel y any type of nickel set okay you're going to set your audibles at the beginning of the game we're going to come out with cover four palms cover six cover nine right here in the second slot you can have any defense you want but make sure that you pick a nickel set with cover six cover nine and cover four these are matching concepts and if you are facing a trips type look or a bunch type look you're going to be able to lock down with the adjustments I'm going to give you. So we're going to come out first with cover four palms. OK, now I am in a cover two shell because if they run the ball, I want my safeties closer in the box. Being in the cover two shell, when you spread your defensive line, one person is going to drop down and then I like to show blitz. Now, if you have a slow cornerback, you might want to re back that person up. Okay, so we're going to come out and cover four palms and we're going to go against a bunch set first. So we're going to break the huddle and cover four palms. This is what our play is looking like. Okay, I have my zone drops for my purples at five. So I want him to come out here to guard the running back and you can even move him. I have him to guard the tight end. You can move him if you want to, to make sure they are not bumped. Now, the first thing I want to do, I want to spread my defensive line. That's left D pad up on the right stick. This is passing situations. You see that guy drops down. Okay, now I'm going to crash my line out two times to make sure this is a passing situation. You don't want to spread your line against the run. Now I'm going to take this guy. It's very fast once you set it up. Say, take this guy and I'm going to put him into deep half. Deep half on the right. Now on the big nickel that I'm using, you have outside third adjustments. So that's the reason why it's not the regular setup. But we're going to put him into a deep half. We're going to close the backfield right here with an inside third. That's the whole setup. Now I'm going to sit right here with my user on a passing situation. And you're going to see matching principles on this right hand side. So what you are responsible for, you are looking for, if I come right here, I'm going to come down, get his attention, and I'm going to let my best pass rushers get one on one on the outside. And once I come down, I'm looking for what this route is doing. If he's breaking in, crossing route, or this backside route. Okay? So. We're going to hike the ball. We're going to set up like a streak combo. So we're going to streak him. That's how his play art is looking. And I'm going to come down here. He's going to hike the ball. I'm going to get his attention, get one-on-ones, and I'm coming back to help. And we got great, great block shed. Okay, so let's look at how this play looked. Okay, we have our five-yard purples, and then we have matching. So five yards. So he's taking this five yards right here. Okay, now if they are hitting the flats, you can go ahead and put that to zero or you can put a hard flat on this side. It's all up to you. But I like to keep the five yards because he can run down here, guard the running back, but he can also take away this throw right here with quarter flats and seam flats. Okay, so you can be more aggressive if he's not making that read. We have a five yard quarter flat. He's going to go back first and then he's going to go down there to that route. Okay, now over here we have metric principles. Somebody's going to follow the streak. This guy right here is going to pick up the corner and you're going to be able to click on and make an interception. All right. So we're going to set this up again. You can even click on this person so he don't drop down as much. So we're going to go YY triangle triangle, put him into his uh, deep half, put him into his inside third. And then we're going to go here, put him into his hard flat. So now this is what the play is looking like. Now you can click on him, spread line, crash, and now he is stay up there. OK, so now once they do the street combo on the play, street corner route. 
we're going to be all set up. We're going to come down. We're going to look for these backside routes. We're going to have a great coverage sack. Look at that. Corner route guarded without having to use 25-yard flats and all that. So we changed that to a hard flat. Look how fast he's running down there. If he tries to throw it to the running back, that might be a safety. Okay? Now, this guy right here, we have our purple for that five yards. Look at that. We have these guys. He's picked up on the corner. We have the inside popped up in case this guy does a post. What do I mean by that? So on the offense, if we put a backside post right there with the square, this is what the offense will look like. And that's the reason why the quarter is important. So you can click on him, go ahead, close this backside, click on him, spread line, crash. Now you all set. Okay. So this time we're going to leave that quarter flat. We don't, just in case they do in the curl, but they're going to have a post. That post is going to run into your inside third. So that's set up again. YY or triangle, triangle, go to L1, put a deep half. YY, triangle, triangle, go to triangle, put a middle third, left stick up. Okay, depending on what formation you in. Now, I like to bring him out a couple steps. He's going to help with RPOs. He's going to help with the flat route down there. And this is what the player is looking like. So now we have a backside post. Once he hikes the ball, we're looking for anything right here. And before anybody even helps him by me going to the left, he just comes in screaming, as you can see right there. So move off to the left and look at that. Boom, that quick jump. So we're going to look again, move off to the left. Boom. Okay, so crashing out. If he gets engaged with the outside uh, tackle, that's only a four-man pass rush. So we're going to set that up again.